Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you just for clicking on this video and watching it. So thank you so, so much. Um, we made it to 900 subscribers plus some, so I just want to say thank you so much to you guys. And because of that, of course, I'm going to do a giveaway because I love doing that. I'm going to do a 900 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to choose two winners because I did do a... 800 subscriber giveaway and I tried twice and both times the people didn't reach out after they won and so this time I'm going to just do two for the 900 subscriber giveaway. The prize to the giveaway is going to be something equaling ten dollars um, and what I will do is ask if there's any wish list items at Dollar Tree that you're looking for and I can see if I can find those for you or if there is a theme of your house for Christmas and you just want some decor to fit into that theme and you want to tell me that your theme is cozy cabin theme or gingerbread or something like that. Or if just a $10 gift card will help you out because it's that time of year where we're all trying to, you know, stretch that dollar and a $10 gift card from Dollar Tree or a $10 gift card from Walmart or something like that is what's going to just really help you out this time of year. That could be your giveaway prize because I understand and whatever is going to help you out this time of year is what I want to try to do. So, um... Please make sure you leave a comment down below. You have to be subscribed to my channel, 18 or older, be a resident of the United States of America. Um, please be subscribed and an active member because by not finding or finding that two people didn't re like watch my videos to see that you won my giveaways, I just kind of assume that there's some people that pop in and go for giveaways but don't really like participate. I don't know, but you know, just make sure that you're someone who's like likes to watch my videos and aren't just trying to win giveaways because you know that just kind of is a bummer. But um, and then this is in no way sponsored or anything by anybody. Once I mail out your prize, it is out of my hands um, and all that stuff, all the all the guidelines. So make sure you like this video. Make sure that you leave a comment down below. And I just like to be really easy and just do hashtag 900. So do the hashtag symbol 900 all together because that's how I type it in. And so the way you can win is hashtag 900 all together 900. So, also, I just want to make an announcement that I am in a collaboration for a Christmas tree. We are decorating Christmas trees, the little ones from Dollar Tree. There are 11 of us in this collab. I'm going to add the little um, thumbnail to my community tab again today, so look out for that. We all are having giveaways attached to this collab. Um, in order to be able to win that giveaway for any of the channels, because every channel, all 11 of them, are going to have a giveaway, but you do have to be subscribed to all 11 channels. I think the first go-round is the 10 channels, because the 11th channel is a surprise channel. None of us know who she is. But um, look on that thumbnail. You'll see all the channels. Um, some of the ones I know off the top of my head are NC, um, NC Mama. I always remember or forget channel names as soon as I'm talking. Um, Fabulously 50 something and beyond. <sighs> Perry Popola. Oh my goodness. Go to that thumbnail because I can't remember channels. My brain just shuts off as soon as the camera shuts on. Like I promise. Like my brain just stops. So go to the thumbnail. See all the different channels who are a part of this collab. It's going to be really fun because they're just little Christmas trees and we're decorating them. So. I'm working on that this week, and watch out for that. The videos drop on Saturday, December 4th. So that is my announcement there. Now that I have a long intro, let me get into this Dollar Tree haul. I have a lot of books, and I have some Christmas stuff, and so I want to definitely get through these books because some of them I've held on to a little too long, and I want to show them because, you know, you get really excited. So first for some Christmas stuff, I picked up these guys. Oh, my gosh, they're so cute. They're the little gingerbread tins. I did see on someone's channel, it's like D.Y. Ash something, and I'll, I can link her down below. She glued like the little whisks um, to these guys just to decorate them a little bit more for decor, and I'm trying to find the little whisks, like the little red ones to do that with. I did find a spatula, but um, I'm looking for the little whisks because I thought that was really cute, and I think that she did a, a cricket of We Whisk You a Merry Christmas, um, and so I want to use those for decor in my kitchen, and then... Sorry guys. Um, I found this tin. This one was new to me. I haven't seen this one that has this lid that says save some cookies for Santa. And it was the lid that got me. I love this. I've seen it and I have it on some of my other stuff. But this lid just did me in. So 
I got that. I don't know if I'm going to use it for a gift or use it for decor, but absolutely in love with that lid. I picked up the small little camper one. This is for my sister. She loves all the camper stuff. And it has the gingerbread and hot cocoa on the side as well. And I just love that. I picked up this one for the peppermint. And just like the candies on the outside, I'm doing my bathroom in peppermint and candy canes. And so I thought this might be cute on one of the shelves in my bathroom. And then I picked up this one. I have really no use for it, but I just thought it was really cute. If I can do it on my hot cocoa bar, I'm going to. I like the lid. It says Baking Spirits Bright. I use these containers in my just baking stuff. And I think they hold like baking soda and that kind of stuff. But this one is just too cute with the print on it. And so I grabbed that. And then I just got from Frugal J because I wasn't finding them. And then of course I find them after I get hers, the little spatulas. But these will be so cute like in gift baskets and stuff. So when I saw them in my store, I decided I had to pick some up. I want them for decor. Oh, and then I want them for um, gifts. And this would be super cute with him holding one of these spatulas. So if I don't find the whisks or if I want to do a spatula instead, that's what I might do with him. So there's that. And then gift bags, guys. Oh my gosh, I found some of the prettiest gift bags. My last haul, I showed some that I'm doing as like decor and I'm going to put them in frames. But some of these like could potentially be decor. I've seen people do these as the backgrounds like in the little um, triangle house or the little triangles or the little houses. And I love that, the fall la 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 la. It's so cute. And then the other one with the Christmas trees, also adorable. And I love these either as gift bags or as decor. Like, I don't know which way is better because they're so adorable. And I think this is a collection of gift bags. I don't know for sure. And I don't know if I'd want to try to turn it into decor or just use them as gift bags. But, oh my gosh, these are so cute. So they kind of have like, I don't want to shiplap because it's not like the wood, but it's like got the graded lines on here. This one is sparkly on this side. It's outlined in sparkle. On the other side, it's not. It's got the mint green ribbon. The tag just kind of has like the tinsel -y look to it, which is super cute. Sorry about my lighting in here. I am really struggling with my lighting. I put poster board back there to block some of the sun. These curtains are a lot lighter than my normal curtains, like thinner. And so a lot of this light just like shines in and then I'm just really struggling finding the right lighting for videoing. Um, and then the insides of here are just the lines too. So I love this bag so much. So then I started looking and just trying to find more. And why I think they're a collection is they all have the same ribbon right here as their like holders. It's the mint green ribbon. This one is like a snow globe ornament. Come on, tag. It says, tis the season. It doesn't have glitter. It just has more of the silk, like shiny, shiny right there. And the tis the season and it's not shiny on the other side so if you see yeah you can see the kind of the shine right there and it's so cute it has like the sled with the gifts and the pink house so cute and i love the color of it i found this one this one also it has the shimmer the shine on it instead of the glitter this tag is really cute too Nope, I forgot to show the inside of the other one. This one has stars and like snowflakes. It says, we wish you a very Merry Christmas with the ornaments on the tree. And then, if, yeah, if I turn it this way, you can see some of the shimmer and shine on there. Not shimmer, it's the shine. Let's see. On this one, let's see what the inside is. I remember what's, oh, so it's just the same green and it has snowflakes and like dots in it. And the tag of this one is like the little evergreen kind of stem. And so I love both of those. And then lastly for this collection, I think it's a collection, is this one. And it just has like Christmas trees all over it. So this side is more of a silver color where this side is white. And the silver side kind of has like a, sh a sheen to it, but not like too much. The tag is a snowflake and the inside is just the trees. And so I picked them all up because I love these so much. I think they are gorgeous. And I found more of these gigantic bags. And I pick them up because I don't know exactly everything I'm wrapping for the kids yet. But it's great to have them on hand. And then that way, if you need them, you don't have to go searching for them because you have them on hand. 
So this is like the huge ones. This is like over two feet tall. And so this has a bunch of words on it. Christmas, um, holidays, snow, Merry Christmas, winter wishes, snow is falling. We got the reindeer, the penguin, the Santa. And so super cute. The inside has like some stripes and gigantic. Sorry, I just hit the tripod if it bounced. This one has the little squares. It's kind of like um, the game where all the different people are on their different rooms. The tag just says Merry Christmas. And we have Have the Happiest of Holidays, Believe in the Magic of Christmas. We have the Elf, the Snowman, the Reindeer, Santa. The inside of that has the candy canes. Oh my gosh, so cute. And then last for the gigantic bags. And again, I have children, so these are all like the really kind of more kiddish ones. And they had some other ones that are much more like adult. But this one's like a big stocking. And it says Christmas wishes, jolly holiday, merry cheer. And then we got Santa and his sleigh down here at the bottom. And all the little penguins and reindeer and gifts popping out of the top of the stocking. I like the mintons over here, super cute. And this one has green polka dots. So cute. So I love all of those. So, so cute. And then, like I said, I have a lot of books. So let's get going on some books to share because Dollar Tree books are just an amazing find. So this one says, Freedom is Blogging in Your Underwear by Hugh McLeod. And retail price, $19.95. Super cute book. It has all kinds of like little drawings in it throughout and really it's about this book is about freedom specifically personal freedom i discovered from the wonderful world of blogging the freedom i hope everyone will eventually discover for themselves the freedom that i believe will permanently and irrevocably irrevo irrevocably it's a hard word change the world for the better having a blog a voice my own media utterly changed my life and then it goes on to talk more about it but um it just seems like a really fun book to read I do, Frugal J gave me the idea where you pull it off and you see if it's a book that you would like to use for decor and it's a really pretty purple book. But I bought this one because the subject matter just seemed like something I would be interested in. This one I grabbed three of and it legit cracked me up. So I have three of them. I'm gonna do them for gifts. I'll see the other two so my bag is less heavy. So this says the Grumpy Doodle Book. So it says, toss this go anywhere doodle book in a purse or a backpack and leave it in the back of the car or tote it onto a plane for an instant mood adjustment or cure of boredom. Draw a grumpy ocean, crabby teapot, or a peevish snowman and just try not to laugh out loud. Doodlers of all ages will appreciate the wit and the opportunity to create wherever you go and whenever the mood strikes. So this one was $9.99 regular price got it for the dollar at the dollar tree they also have the happy doodle book the wake up doodle book and the cheer up doodle book but this one is the grumpy doodle book so like right here it says let's draw a bird angrily flying find another spot oh this one you get to just have free rain a lot of free rain ones maybe the beginning gives you a lot of the prompts let's draw a person irritably riding this bike what kind of face do you make when you're grumpy? Um, so I just thought that this was hilarious. Let's angrily write the letter A. So sometimes my kids get grumpy, and I just thought that this would be a fun way to say, hey, you're grumpy, let's go to the grumpy doodle book. So you get all the props at the beginning, and then it's just a bunch of doodle pages, it looks like. I did see a word in there, let's see. No, maybe, oh. are these candles so this these books cracked me up I bought all oh well, I don't know if they were all three but I picked up three because I just thought that these would be fun gifts and again maybe they're gifts for my kids who knows because who doesn't love to doodle and if you're grumpy maybe doodling will help you out so let's see doodling is always lots of fun let's doodle again so loved those and then this one also cracked me up, men and dogs. So this retail for $15 and so it's men and dogs. 
We have the dude who is working out by doing like push-ups of some sort. And then the dog doing a push-up or a pull-up. Those are pull-ups. We have a dude with weights and the dog with weights. <laughs> we have Mr. Man in the out outdoor snowy scene and the puppers in the outside snowy scene. Oh, a dude in a towel and the pup in a towel. Like, this just puts a smile on your face. It is hilarious. Covered in paint. <laughs> look, this over the shoulder look. I mean, amazing book. So, um, $15 is what it retailed. It's in the humor section of the books. Got it for a dollar. And this one I also got to read because it just sounds like an amazing book. Eat Cake and Be Brave. This is by Melissa Raddick. And I it retails for $27. And it says, Hi, my, list, my name is Melissa and there is a very real chance that you have no idea who I am, but admit it, you're curious. Even though millions of people seem to like watching my videos, bemoaning the trials of parenting, marriage, French braiding, faith, you may be wondering who let me write a book. And it just goes on to talk about what happened when I turned 41 as I made the decision to be brave. You see, I thought our lives were supposed to change at 40. I may have just turned 29, so kind of good timing for this, but mine didn't, not until I turned 41. When I set out to prove that it isn't too late for me, that careless words wouldn't just stunt me and rejection would not stop me. Maybe, just maybe, if you're reading about my journey to find my self-worth, self you will rightfully believe in yours. So cut a big slice and raise a fork. Here's to bravery, here's to courage, and here's to cake. And not the crappy kind like carrot. So I just feel like this seems like an amazing book to read. So this is going on my read list probably in January because December just seems real busy. But amazing. Can't wait to read that. Oops. And then last in this bag, and then I have a few more books down there, but those ones were more for decor. I picked these books. So this is my husband. Let me start off by saying we do not really do a lot of organized religion in my household. Believe in a supreme being, that kind of thing. So just preface with we don't really do like any specific organized religion. But my husband has been very into Judaism for as long as I've met him, really. And so last year we started celebrating Hanukkah really on a surface level um, and trying to teach the kids about the meaning behind it, which means we're also learning the meaning behind it because it's not a faith that either of us have regularly practiced. But I found these books, which I thought was a good way as teaching moments for both ourselves and our children through Hanukkah, which started yesterday because today is Monday, the 28th, I think. Um, and so these books I found. So here is a book called Here is the World, A Year of Jewish Holidays. And so this will teach us all about the different holidays within that belief system. And so I love that. And then this one is Jewish Holidays All Year Round. And these have beautiful illustrations. I can't remember which one because it's been a minute since I opened them. Oh, this beautiful illustration throughout this book. And it says, Here's, here is the world ever changing anew, spinning with joy and the wonder of you. And so a, about a parade and just beautiful, beautiful illustrations in this book. It says it includes holiday recipes and crafts. And so just like I said, a great learning experience here. Retail price, $18.95. Found it at the Dollar Tree, so amazing. Um, so yeah, that will help be teaching moments for all of us. And then this one, um, it's in association with the Jewish Museum. Retail for nineteen ninety five. Got it for a dollar. The history or the story of Jewish people goes back thousands of years, and every year is punctuated by special days. Days when families celebrate their rich heritage, recall their history, and renew their spirits, and remember what it means to be Jews. So this one had some recipes in it that I can't wait to try out. It talks about all the different religious holidays within this religion. And so I just think it's great teaching moment. So if my husband has the want to learn more, why not find books to help us learn more? So found both of those. One more smaller one because some of these are more for decor books because, you know, I like to do that. First of all, though, was this one. 
finding the magic in the mess, kind of like in this, I think, self-help type of diet and health is what it says. This one doesn't tell me the retail price up here in front, so I don't know what it retailed for. But it says, family life can feel like a blur of shoulds, don'ts, and to-do lists. I love my to-do lists. With precious time to savor the togetherness and enjoy the ride. There is a better way. This reflective and helpful guide will help you find insights and advice for bringing your best self to parenting to every parenting challenge, big and small, with greater awareness, authenticity, and grace. As calming as we talk with a dear friend, this deceptively simple book turns parenting truths upside down to reveal a path of greater presence and connection. So... I just think that that sounds amazing. So another read that I plan to read when I find kind of the time to do it in between my to-do lists. I love Anna Ferris. Anna is what I learned um, by reading the back of this book. It says, in this book, you'll find stories of my relationships, both disastrous and heartwarming. You'll meet childhood Anna, pronounced Anna, rhymes with Donna, even though everyone gets it wrong and I never correct them, armed with flannel shirts, menacing headgear, and adult Anna, wear more flannel shirts, but much better teeth. We'll get some advice, few lists, and some childhood photos. I'm the short one. She is a doll. I think she is hilarious. This retail for $28, and I hope to read that at some point because I love her. Actually, too, thinking about it, this one also is pretty if you were to want to use it for decor. It has really bright red writing on the side, but it's white with kind of a light blue on the side, so I plan to read it, but you know, you can always double duty them. This book I bought for in this room for my black and white room. I do plan to take the cover off of it. Again, Frugal J is who gave me this idea, but use it to stack things on and use them kind of as risers because books are a beautiful way to do that. I always keep the covers. I just put them off to the side so that once I am done with a book, if I plan to donate it, I have the um, cover to be able to put back with it. But it says Belle Revolte, don't fear the power, make the powerful fear you. Retailed for $17.99. Um, maybe a good book, but I bought it for the color of it. And lastly in the books is this one, Same Purpose. If you open it up, it is a pretty white and gray color. I think it will stack nicely with the black book and be a good riser. It was uh, $28 regular price. The title, What the Eyes Don't See, the story of crisis, resilient, and hope in an American city. Possibly something I might actually be interested in reading, but for now it is for decor. So that is what I have in books. Now lastly for this haul, I'm going to show one of my wish list items. And I just have a bag of them. We're at these easels. I was seeing people haul them. I have been wanting them. My daughter Lorelai wants to have a paint party for her next birthday party, which isn't until August. So I am a little bit early in this, but when you find an amazing deal, you got to pick it up. So um, I'm going to do these for her paint party. It's going to hold up little easels or little canvases, which I'll pick up at Dollar Tree, but I don't need those quite yet. But I wanted to grab these when I saw them come to my store. So I grabbed 10 because I don't know how many people she's going to have at her party, but I think 10 is a good starting point. And uh, these are amazing for a dollar. And then you can tighten them up here just to make sure that they stay where you need them. And yeah, so that's my haul today. Thank you so, so much. Thank you for sticking with me for the books. Um, don't forget about my giveaway. Don't forget about the upcoming collaboration. And if you made it all the way through the end, leave me an emoji of a book because I just like to see those of you that like to stick around to the end because that just makes my heart happy that you don't just do the hashtag 900 and take off. That means you like actually watched the whole thing. So Thank you so much for being here. I have a collective haul coming up. I might try to do it later today just to get it posted later this week. I have some crafting videos I need to edit and voiceover. The family just went back to work in school, so I have some quiet time now that I can do like a voiceover and stuff. So I've been waiting to do that. And yeah, so I have some stuff coming up and I can't wait to see you in those next videos. Bye guys.